Here are some of the features of FTP on the Go and FTP on the Go Pro. We'll start by looking at the app on an iPhone. When you open the app, you are brought to a login screen where you can log into your servers. You can connect using regular FTP, FTPS, or SFTP. Once connected, you will see the contents of your server. If you want to view something, select the file and then tap the View button. Many types of files can be viewed right inside the app. If you are viewing a text file, such as a web page, script, or style sheet, tap the keyboard next to the file name to edit it. Code coloring makes the source code of web pages much easier to deal with. We've added an extra keyboard row with many special characters needed for web development. This is expanded even further on an iPad when using FTP on the Go Pro. For more file commands, tap the menu button on the right side of the row. From here, you can rename, move, delete, or change access permissions of the file. There is a similar menu for folders. This folder menu also lets you download entire directory trees. On the lower toolbar, you can refresh the directory, sort the files, download files onto your device, enable multi-select to apply actions to many files at once, and access the menu for the entire FTP site. The Saved Files tab looks very similar to the FTP view, but shows files that are saved locally on your device. Here is the image I downloaded earlier. If you want to view or edit a file using a different app, use the Open In option to see what is available on your device. There are three special folders in the Saved Files area. Photo Library is the collection of pictures and videos on your device. If you want to upload a picture you just took with the Camera app, you can find it here. Shared with iTunes is synced with iTunes so you can easily move files back and forth between your computer and iOS devices. Cloud Files will sync files between all your devices using iCloud. You can also email files right within FTP on the go. WebView is a built-in browser that lets web developers view the changes they've made without needing to switch apps. It also works as a regular browser. Transfers will show the files currently downloading or in the download queue. And the settings is where you can configure the app to work the way you want it to work. Up to this point, everything you've seen is on both the regular and pro versions of FTP on the go. But now we're going to switch over to an iPad and I'll show you some of the pro-only features. The first thing you see on the iPad is that you have a lot more space to work with. When connected, you can see a lot more of the file list at once. The tabs are all still here just as before, but the web view and file view gets the whole right side of the screen. And when you view a file, you can see it side by side with the directory listing. You can also switch between views for all the files you have open. If you want to switch to full screen mode for editing files, tap this arrow in the toolbar. The X closes the file. The various menus appear as pop-ups on the iPad, which makes them very easy to work with. And finally, the search options are all available here too. And that is an overview of what FTP on the Go and FTP on the Go Pro have to offer. Thank you.